Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. This is Angel from Angel Illustrations and doing something a little bit different right now. Um, obviously this is being recorded live. No overdubbing and probably with cats meowing in the background. But just a brief intro to this video before I start work on the actual picture. I'm going to be working with something I've never worked with. Before, a brand of I've never really worked with, and that is Arteza, 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 whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, I saw these on the Black Friday deals, and yeah, it's the 36 portrait tone uh, markers. The as I said, there's something new for me. Uh, I've never played with Arteza markers. I have played with Winder and Newton. And I'm going to do a portrait with these. As uh, you see, I haven't even opened them yet. Um, I'm going to do a portrait with these. On some Winder and Newton marker paper. And just have a look at these. This is not an unboxing. I don't intend it to be an unboxing. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing I can note from the very beginning is while these are portrait colours and very good range of skin tones, for my style of work um, I'd probably be augmenting these with some of my Winsor & Newton and uh, ones I've got off Wish as well. Just to get some richer tones and more believable cool colors because there's not a lot of cool colors in these but without further ado i'll do a magical zoop. and these are the pens uh, so the arteza arteza however you want to say it um, everblend markers are double sided markers so on one side you've got a very nice broad chisel tip and on the other you've got a finer uh, not a brush tip, but it's what I'd call a standard felt tip. Now, what these markers are really good at is blending. And that, that's a design, they're an alcohol based marker. Um, they're, they're there for blending and creating smooth tones, getting nice effects, and they are absolutely ideal for probably comic work or anything where you need a smooth tone, designers, that sort of thing, and it's great. Where I really enjoyed them was the actual pigmenting. The pigmenting on the pens is very strong, very vibrant, and they had an absolutely smooth laydown. Now, this isn't a sponsored review, Arteza haven't provided these markers. I paid for these out of my own pocket. As a, it was the Black Friday deal. I haven't actually pulled them out of the box until I started recording this video a couple of days before Christmas. And yeah, this, this is going in cold. All I've done is on some cheap Chinese, it came from Wish, um, marker paper. I did some swatching, I did some uh, colour samples, just to see what the actual colours are, because I never trust caps, <laughs> I never trust caps, I never trust the barrels of coloured pencils, it's all the same, uh, it's never quite right. But you can see me working on the portrait as, in, as we begin. Just building up tones. Um, the other pens you see me using are actually watercolour markers, uh, not from Arteza. I picked these up from a little shop in the UK called The Works, and they're very cheap, very cheerful. And, but um, I'm only using those really for greys and a little bit of colour color moving at this point. What you can see now on the screen is 
where I started to get limitations with the Arteza markers. As I said in the intro, there's not a lot of cool colours in these pens. So I had to break out uh, my Windsor & Newton brush markers, which um, I tried to restrict their use to greys and blues, just to dampen down, mute the colours, try and um, bring down the heat of the browns and the oranges and the reds and all of the rest. Uh, a couple of other things I used were Poscas and later on there's some gel pens and the pens I use from Wish and some Spectra markers. These are all just to fill the gaps that uh, I couldn't use uh, the Arteza pack for. So what didn't I like about the Arteza markers? Oh, the first thing I hated was the packaging. Um, well, these pens are an absolute pain in the backside to get out of the packaging. The plastic sleeve, uh, we all want to be more eco-friendly and not have so much plastic in our life, but the whole thing was plastic. Uh, they were, the pens were pretty much welded into the slots. Great for transport. Not so great from when you get into a flow and pulling the pens in and out of the case. It's a, it's nitpicky and it's an annoyance for me. I'm not bother anybody else, but personally, I, I, I'll probably end up putting these pens in a separate case if I continue to use them, of course. The other thing uh, I keep mentioning it, but the colours provided in this pack. While they are great base flesh tones and I, I will not deny they are fantastic for um, designers, for uh, comic artists etc etc. For my style of work where I try and go for a quasi-realistic, I won't call myself as a realistic, I, I know I'm not the quasi-realistic skin tone, they they are lacking in some blues. I mean, they, they could have pulled out several of those colours and had a small array of greys, three or four, just cool greys, and that pack would have been brilliant. But that's what other pens are for. I mean, these are a starter pack. They're not really intended to be the be all, end all, perfect. You buy this and you'll be able to turn out this work. It's it never, never like that. So what about the portrait? Well, the owner of the face, for one of the better term, is a singer from a band called Infected Rain. I think the singer's called Lena Scissorhands, I think. Um, I saw them in Bristol when I went to see Lacuna Coil, BC previous video. They were absolutely brilliant. Um, they're the opening act, they're there to fill some stage as, you, as the crowds are filling in. It, it, it wasn't expecting much. Um, I've seen some terrible acts in a lot of the concerts. But these guys, they put on a show, they work their backsides off. And yeah, I've absolutely fallen in love with the band. They're incredible. So yeah, I just picked um, pretty much, I think it's still from one of their music videos. Uh, Black Gold, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm still very new to their music. And yeah, that's, this is this is what happens. So what you can notice on the actual portrait is I've done the face largely in the Arteza markers. Um, I've got no complaints about them. Supplemented them and augmented them with the watercolor markers from the works. Some Windsor and Newton Pro markers. And that's the other small issue, a tiny nitpicky. Oh, I, I feel like I'm really nitpicking, but um, the Windsor & Newton brush markers that I absolutely love working with 
have that brush nib. And I, 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 I like that nib. The little bullets felt tip. I feel a little bit restricting, but I won't complain too much. Um, again, it's personal preference. So you're seeing um, these white barrel pens. These are the ones I got off Wish. Very cheap. These are the ones I bought when I thought, let's try markers. Uh, oh, these are gel pens. I think I picked them up from Tesco. Alcohol markers aren't great for minute detail. So in the dreadlocks, I used the gel, gel pens just to pick out a couple of the hairs and just a bit of fiddling here and there. But anyway, we're almost done. I hope you like what I do. This is only really the third time I've really done something with markers to this sort of level, and the first at this size. So I hope I'm progressing well. Um, I'd love to see what people think and get people's feedback. But yeah, so it's a quasi-review of the Arteza Everblend markers. Uh, if you like what I've done, if you think I suck, if you think Lena Scissorhands would actually watch it, like, comment, subscribe, share, send me presents, send me markers, send me greys, I like grey markers, grey markers are really cool. Anyway, take it easy.